Hello, my name is Andrea from Cisco Tech. In this video, I'll be showing you how to read a basic SIP call log. This log includes the collection of basic debugs, which are filters used to weed out certain parts of a call. Those debugs include debug CC SIP message, debug voice C Cappy in out, and debug CC SIP error. I would recommend opening the file in Notepad++ since there are features that will help with highlighting and text differentiation, because as you will see, there's a lot to read through. By using the search feature, you can find various parts of the log quicker than if you attempted to read through every line. You'll want to highlight everything you may be looking for in a different color. To begin, let's look for the calling and called numbers. By pressing Control F, you can activate the search feature. Put in your keywords and find exactly what you need. In this instance, the called number is extension 1001, and they were called from extension 2000. You want to highlight both of those. Next, you'll find your CCAPI ID, which is the number that identifies end-to-end -end VoIP signaling. Highlight that. Next are your dial peers. One will be incoming and one outgoing. Dial peers either originate or receive calls in a telephone network and usually will match a specific dialed sequence of digits to an addressable call endpoint. There should be a dial peer for each call leg, again, incoming and outgoing. Don't forget, if you can't find what you're looking for by scrolling, control F and put in your keyword. Last, find your CUCM or call manager caller ID. Highlighting all of these aspects will make navigating these logs a lot easier than sifting through each line. So what exactly are we looking for in these logs? This is always based upon your call flow and the issues you may be experiencing. This log in particular features a call that was placed, put on hold for a transfer, picked up, and then successfully disconnected by the end user. So we'll start with the invite received from the ITSP and just watch how these things communicate with each other. Now here's the invite forwarded to the call manager from the ITSP. There's an acknowledgement of 200 OK received from the call manager that they received that invite. and there's an acknowledgement sent to the call manager. The call manager then sends a 200 OK to the ITSP. You receive your acknowledgement and now the call has been established. You receive a re-invite to tear down the call to be placed on hold from the call manager. So after building this call up, now we're going to tear it back down to put someone on hold. Here's the invite forwarded to the provider. And the 200 OK or acknowledgement from the provider. and there's a 200 OK sent to the call manager. The call manager then receives the acknowledgement. 
there's a re-invite from the call manager to stream music on hold. So we have the person on hold and we don't want them to just hear nothing. We want some music. There's another invite sent to the provider as we prepare the transfer. A 200 OK is received. And another sent to the call manager. And an acknowledgement is received from the call manager. We now officially, with this acknowledgement, have music on hold. Here's where we hang up. A buy is received, and now the 200 OK. The buy is forwarded to the call manager, and the 200 OK is received from the call manager. And that is how you read a basic SIP call log. Thanks for watching.